Hello my friends, how are you doing? It is Everything Can Happen Tuesday and today I want to show you three really cool pages that can help you spice up your images. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Now, just to clarify, I'm not affiliated with any of these pages, I just find them cool and want to show them to you. The first one is called Plotterverse and what it does is to make pictures like normal photos into these cool animations you can see here nice portrait now the hair is flowing you have these little wisps here and then the other pictures you can see equally cool effects that you can do with your photos and it's kind of easy to do that so here i have uploaded one of my pictures this is a portrait shot i did and edited in my live stream and you can see i just edited these arrows here for motion and these little points here they are called anchor points to lock down the pixels in that area and now if I click on play you can see it gives me a pretty cool animation and here on the left side I can even say well I want to have it slower I want to have it faster and that's basically it and on the right side you can see here you have layers effects you have settings you have text so you can do a lot more with that and create really cool and elaborate animations they even have challenges like this daily challenge maybe you can win prizes i'm not sure about that but you get a portfolio like this where you can post your stuff online if you have a free account the only downside is that well there's two downsides you're limited for the effects and you have this big big logo in your picture but um you can still make these cool animations so that's good stuff uh, to have and you can even export it as a video file it's also cool if you like the pro version um it's a bit on the expensive side so it's 100 dollars per year that is so that's well if you're into it I think it's worth it if not I think it's a little bit expensive but you can still use the, with the free version that's awesome right and if you downloaded the video because gifts is free uh gifts is a pro feature you can go over to easygift.com that's the next page I want to tell you about I use this actually a lot for myself because I love gifts, especially funny gifts. So uh, what you can do here is you just upload a video. It has a maximum of 100 megabytes. So um, you have to like cut out the seconds you actually want to use, upload that. And then what you're doing, let's go over here, prepared this already. So this is my video. You can see it has 7.6 megabytes. And then you can say start an endpoint in time and you can set your size here and you can set the frame rate. I would choose at least 20 frames per second. Uh, so you get a smooth animation. Just click on convert to GIF and boom, it creates a GIF for you. Isn't that nice? And I'm not making any suggestions here. I'm just saying it has a crop function where you can cut out parts of the video. Just saying, not suggesting anything by that. Also, you can do other stuff like resize, crop, optimize, effects. You can even put text in your GIF. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with that and basically create moving pictures like that as a GIF file that you can post on Facebook or other pages. Pretty cool. And a lot of people ask me about creating GIFs. So this is how I do it. Super easy. All right. Next one is called Pixlr. It's by the same guys who do Remove BG. I have already showed you that page. But this time this is actually free. So you can upload a full size image and you can download the full size image. There's not going to be a logo in it. So I uploaded this picture here. This is one of my shots I took in Vienna of this cute dog on the road. And you can do a lot of cool stuff here. For example, you can crop this. You have these adjustment settings. You click on them and you can see how easy that is. So for example, you can go on auto fix. It's also pretty cool. So boom, and it's auto fixed. And then I can go and say, well, I want to have a little bit more saturation. And maybe I want to bring the brightness a little bit down and the contrast maybe not that much a little bit up um let's see highlights are good shadows are good mm, there we have toning also and fill and we even have curves you can see you can do a lot of different stuff you can also click here where you have different kind of filters for example 
I think I want to sharpen this up maybe a little bit. No clarity because the bokeh is so nice. And oh yeah, I'm a vignette fan as you know. So let's put a little bit of vignette on there. And boom, we are basically done. Oh, dehaze. Maybe dehaze a little bit. Uh, hmm, yeah, let's go like that. Okay, uh, you can do more stuff here and then you click on save. And then you can see download, so you can download it any size you want. Also different formats, also WebP, which is a special format for if you do websites and stuff. This might be your jam, otherwise JPEG, PNG, and also resolution and size. And then you click on download and just download. So pretty nice. Uh, very easy to use, completely free, and it's just a website. So if you don't have your computer or your phone with you and you need to edit a picture so it looks good and you need to publish it somewhere, this is a pretty cool uh, tool. Especially, for example, if you are on holiday, you go to an online cafe, you don't want to have like, uh, you just want to use something to make your pictures pretty. This is cool. Okay, these are the three pages, but I have a little addition for you, a little bonus for that. Everybody knows Pinterest, but you might not know this feature. You can click on any kind of picture you find on Pinterest, and down here it has this little search icon. And now look at this, what it does. I click on that, and it gives me this, and it gives me pictures that are similar, but with this selection, I can go on certain areas, like let's go here for the hands, and let's see, and there we go, we have results for the hands, for example, you know, or just like for this head area, let's see, yeah, we get like headshots now, so that's pretty awesome, and this is a tool that I use so often to prepare for shots, for ideas, even for tutorials, uh, to just see what other people are doing to get inspirations from them and as you can see ah oh, this is so useful and to just like single out a specific area of the picture makes it that much more useful uh, let's go to the home button here maybe select another picture we have something here that maybe there's a bird maybe that uh, let's click on that and then just single out the bird and let's see we get bird pictures yes we get bird pictures i love this okay that's the episode for the day i hope you enjoyed everything can happen tuesday again let me know in the comments and see you soon bye